Guys Tech Talk back here with another video and I've got a really exciting video for you today. Something that I have been waiting for for a very long time. I don't know about you but an iOS 10.3.3 jailbreak has been released. I'm not sure if it will work on iOS 10.3.2 which is what I was on because I was waiting for the jailbreak. But if it doesn't work I'll just update it. But this video I'm going to show you how to jailbreak it. This is legitimate. It came out today. Today is Christmas Eve. So let's get started on how to do this. So first what you need to do is you need to download the Helix application or however you say it, I'm not really sure. But you need to download the IPA and save it into the folder that you desire. I'm just saving it in a place in my documents. But you can just leave it in the downloads folder for now. So now what you need to do is you just need to plug your iPhone in. So now all you need to do is back up your iPhone. Well, you don't need to do it. This is optional, but I would highly recommend doing it in case anything goes wrong so you don't lose your data. So now you just need to go to the other link in the description. The um, Helix application will be in the description as well. But you need to go to the Cydia Impactor link. If you have a Windows, click on the Windows tab. And if you have a Mac, click on the Mac tab. I have a Windows, so I'm going to click on that tab. And I'll show you what to do after I download it and save it. Okay, so after you've downloaded the video, you just want to find the folder or the zip file and cl right click on it and click open with and go down to Windows Explorer. And then up in the right hand corner, you want to just go ahead and click extract all and it will bring to you this little thing that allows you to select the destination. It's already selected where I want it for me in this case, but you just want to you can click browse and then just click extract and it will extract it and it will automatically open the folder and then you just want to go ahead and double click on impactor and it will open up and you just want to go ahead and then after that you want to find your IPA file that you downloaded earlier um, which would be in my documents for my scenario but it might be in your downloads for you so I'm going to go ahead and find that Okay, so after you found it, you just want to click on the IPA and drag it into City of Impactor. Then it will ask you to type in your iTunes login information. That will be your email and your Apple ID password. It is trusted. I have tested it. It does not steal your money. I had that concern myself and I was asking around. It is perfectly safe. It should not steal your money. Okay, so my city at Impactor got really stuck on generating application map, and I think I just didn't know very good, <laughs> because I think it actually installs it at the end, and I was waiting 10 minutes for no good reason, so I tried it again, and it failed, just to find that it was already installed on my phone. Okay, so after waiting a very long time on Cydia Impactor to install this app, it literally took 8 minutes and didn't work, or it got stuck on generating map application, so I had to try it again. And it finally got it so I got the app right here now all you need to do is go to your settings you need to go to settings you need to go to general which I'm already in and then scroll down to where it says profiles and device management and scroll down all the way to where you see developer app and it will have your iTunes email and then you click trust trust again and now it is should open so now all you have to click is jailbreak. It says 10.x. So now I just need to click jailbreak. And hopefully it will jailbreak. So I'm pretty sure it's normal for it to say storage almost full. You can just click done. Okay, so now it looks like the phone is restarting. Okay, so it has restarted. Let's log into my phone. And Cydia is right there. Let's see, I'm just going to move it to over here. So let's see if Cydia runs. See if it opens. And voila, Cydia works. Hallelujah, right? They finally came out with an iOS 10.x jailbreak for all iOS 10s, I believe. So, that is how you jailbreak iOS 10.3.2 and iOS 10.3.3, and it should work 
with all iOS 10. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Please like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Peace.